Welcome back to Digi Bros, everybody. What's going on? We've been talking about food for like flavor plays days on end. Yeah, from you guys' perspective. You know, sometimes we talk food about four days. People, uh, we we're always saying how like we put so much effort into like trying to make sure that we're always talking about like a topic on this show and that it's yeah. always like a real discussion and stuff. And like, uh, you know, a lot of our commenters are always saying things like, man, you guys deserve to be bigger than, like, Game Grumps, because those guys don't talk about shit, and their show is fucking boring these days and stuff. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, I I think so. But then I also think about it, and I'm like, man, does anybody, like, like we talk about topics all the time. See, like, only two guys did it. It's just because you Well, I hit it that time, yeah. Oh, yeah. well, that was cool, yeah. It was pretty badass. Really cool set piece. Pick up your fucking souls. Fine. I've seen All people right. just uh, accidentally walk off of that and die when they were trying to scroll down the ladder. In Let's fact, do this shit in the proper me. order, man. This is going to be fun. All yeah, right. We're going down to fucking hell. Woo! There's got to be at least one person who's played this game and is watching this and is like, what? <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> I did not know uh, about that the first time I went exactly. through. Exactly. And then and you I, come down here and it's I just like, oh! Oh, fucking hell. We are in hell. We There's are officially in hell. Fiery man There's a big scene. with a big scary plan. So, uh, Hup. anyway, yeah, it, it's funny that we, like, the subjects we talk about on this show, while we do go in depth and make sure we have a whole discussion on the topic, you, just skip this guy and go to the fucking bonfire. Well, I want to fight the guy. You come back to him. Get the uh, bonfire. Where's the bonfire? It's further down. Just run past yeah. this guy. Well, Not uh, up here. Get my health back. Just fucking haul ass down there and. There's a treasure chest. It's a mimic. That's a mimic. <laughs> um, whoop. Yeah, anyway. The subjects are, are weird and dumb, so that was the yeah. point I was getting at. Yes. Uh, we're getting dragged out too much. About it that. wasn't funny anymore. No, I was just trying to make that point real quick, but we fucking cut off too many times by uh, things happening. There you go. Hey! The fucking demon. Danger zone! Oh, fuck! Oh, Jesus, what was he doing? That guy was Whoa. trying to get extra points. You're just pointing down. <laughs> yes. You're just pointing at the floor. You tried <laughs> to sit down, in the bonfire, bitch. and you ended up just you're pointing going down. down, down, baby. You're on a rainbow. Oh, here's a uh, maybe topic, um, since the subject of this will be listening. Um, mm. Actually, I'll frame this as a question. Uh, hmm, how do I put it? How clean is very clean? Because it's pretty clean. How often do I talk to you about our friend, Endless Jess? My friend, Endless Jess. Uh, not in a while. Really? I think, yeah. Maybe. I don't know. Like, well, is that not in a while besides... proportional to you not having been home for the last four days? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I guess the, the blue glow stuff you've been showing me. I feel like I talk about Jesse all the fucking time. I like, guess. constantly. Yeah. Like, never am not talking about him. Like, every time I talk to any of my friends, I have to say, like, like they'll say, oh, haha, this thing about this thing, and I'll be like, yeah, my friend Jesse said this about that, you know? That's like me and talking about Hope. <laughs> yeah, but I do it, like, it's like, like, to everybody and uh, constantly, yes. you know? Because, like, Jesse will always have had some funny opinion about a thing. Yeah. And so someone will be talking about it, and I'll be like, oh, yeah, Jesse made this joke, and I'm like, and then nobody ever cares. No one ever gives a shit because yes. they don't know who Jesse is, you know? <laughs> and, like... I realized over time, you know, on some level, Jesse isn't popular because he hasn't, you know, made the kind of content that will the jump in popularity. Yeah. But there's there's also just a large contingent of people who just don't get his sense of humor and don't yeah. find him funny. You know, there's plenty of people who just don't like his content. And no, he did. Like I killed him. I always have to have these moments where I realize that I'm a bigger fan of Jesse than anyone else in the world. I'm yes. literally his biggest fan. You are his biggest fan. I am literally, legitimately his biggest fan. Which is weird, because I'm also, like, one of his best friends. Mm. You know, we talk all the time, every day. But I watch more of his content than anybody. I watch everything he puts out, every single thing, yeah. videos. Sometimes I watch a Jesse video, and then that video has seven views. And I'm like, oh. You know, <laughs> like... I, I am the only guy watching this, you know, like, I am the most dedicated fan. I'm watching everything he does, which is bizarre 
to do of someone who's also your friend. Yeah. You know? So, like... Well, I mean, that makes... He's your friend. Yeah, but I talk about him both, like... I talk about him both the way that you would talk about one of your friends and the way that, like, you might talk about Maddox. You know, yeah. like, someone you watch and you know if things you were about... you watching him you... first before he was your friend. Not really. I became friends with him before I started, like, being a fan. Because he contacted mm. me... Because, like, he was interested in the success I was having. Yeah. And I didn't know, like, I thought he was a fucking shoe reviewer at first. <laughs> and then, uh, <laughs> he contacted me again. A shoe reviewer. He was called Drowning in Footwear. <laughs> yeah, but really? <laughs> Fuck was... yeah, look at this fucking place. Cool. Yeah, the smoldering lake. Um, but yeah, I don't know, I didn't know what the fuck he was. I hadn't watched any of his shit. Oh! And then he contacted right. me again, and I started watching his shit. And uh, realized that it was great, you know, and then uh, we became friends. But it was like all at the same time. There was never a period where it's like I was. I didn't realize that was and then we like became right friends. there. I went the other way first. Oh, I came here. To the demon runes or just over there? Yeah, like yeah, down. There's a passage over there into like a cave to get. An Motherfucker. Item. I would go to the demon runes first so you could get rid of that fucking yeah. thing and not do all this shit because you're dead. Gee, that already. killed me real fast this time. Yeah, don't do that. Just go the other way. Go straight to the de go straight uh, to the boss, and then go straight to the demon ruins. I didn't realize you could just go in reverse. Like I had, I had found the demon ruins by it shoots through the floor, and you fall through the floor and get in there. I never, I've never had that happen. I see. I don't know where it does that. I've, I've seen someone else do it, and I was so like, I thought that what was the super fuck? cool that it like busts through the floor and you find the demon. Where ruins. does that happen? Somewhere in the middle. <laughs> like you just run it through and you find it. Huh. Yeah, I've never wow. had that happen. I'm surprised I didn't see this door and immediately go this way. Well, that's the boss. The door is over yeah. there on the cliff side. But it it made it feel a lot longer that I had to go to the demon ruins to get to the boss. Oh, yeah, I bet. Because <laughs> this way it just feels like, oh, well, this is a super short area with a bonus uh, annoyance. Uh, I don't know. It's the demon ruins Look at this crazy. fucking big-ass lava snake, though. Yeah. Isn't that fucked? It's basically the thing from Dune. The, uh, Hell yeah! The sand Look at that motherfucker. He shoots lightning. Yeah, and if you shit, go up that cliff, insane. it leads to the demon room. Which is a shorter bonfire to this boss. So yeah. Might as well go up there. Yeah, and you can't get shot by a fucking ballista. I don't know where. Where is it? Like, can you tell where it is that you fall through from up here? Uh, it's way in the back though. Yeah, interesting. I've never had it happen to me. Um, oh yeah, this is right there. Cool. But yeah, um, so, what the fuck was I saying? Yeah, it's odd, because I, I talk about him so much, and then I realize that, like, sometimes I'll repeat, you know, a thing that he did, or I'll tell people about it, uh -huh. and I realize that no one else finds it nearly as funny as I do. Yeah. Like, I've been making <laughs> you watch The Blue Glow, uh -huh. and you're always just like, eh. <laughs> and I'm, like, losing it. Yeah, giggle sometimes. Like, well, like, because it's... It's not often, like, laugh out loud funny. It's more, I mean, sometimes it is. There's usually, like, one moment per video that makes me laugh out loud. But it's, like, the characters and stuff. And I was showing you a video, and you said, if I didn't know who this was, and I just found this video, this would be incredibly cringy, is yeah. how you put it. You were like, <laughs> you were like, do you really think if you just found some random guy doing this, you would think it was funny? And I was like, yeah, this is funny. It's great stuff. He's doing a Let's Play where he's, like, uh, talking in a That would have been one of those things I would have immediately shared it with Tolentino, and then we would have investigated, like, what kind of Asperger's this guy has for a while. <laughs> like, we like, would have been like, oh, this is a psychopath on the internet. Let's see all his psychopath content. <laughs> but, like, it's... I, I thought, like, he, the way he edits, though, is obviously a sane person. Yeah. Like, where there's music coming in and stuff, and, like, all these, That's like, well-timed uh, shit. And I'm like, I don't know. To me, it's, like, all funny as fuck and, and, and genius. And, like, uh, like he introduces this character, Babadook Spook, and I'm like, yes. like it, and that's the kind of thing where I could tell, even Baba when I'm watching Duke it for the first Spinnick. time, I'm like, there's no way anyone's going to find this funny but yeah. me. But I think it's fucking hilarious. I love Babadook Spook. I mean, the first episode of Babadook Spook made constantly. me appreciate it more. Because I, like, I had only seen the second one first and I didn't get it. And I was like, the uh, Babadook yeah, Spook was okay. Babadook Spook. I just love the voice and the, the, the idea of this character who's just like, this, this like... He's like this centuries. He's fucking hell, dude! This, what is this fucking poison? It's box? like a centuries-old wizard who's like the most evil person in the world. But all he does is talk about how cool he is for being so evil and how no one else is yes. as evil as him, and just brag about it all the time. It's just, it's just a fucking hilarious, weird-ass character. Um, 
you know, and like, we, so you might have heard about this from Tolentino, because everyone was mad at me for this. But uh, so when I told that whole story about us waiting for Marcus the other day on that other Digibros episode where mm. we all had to sit in the car and wait for him, you know what I'm talking about, yes. right? Um, so we're all sitting in the car in front of his house. And we were just kind of sitting in silence. Like, nobody was playing music or anything. freaky looking dude, man. I don't want to fuck with this freaky fuck. Uh, oh, oh! Yeah. That scared the shit out of me, to be honest. <laughs> Those things are the scariest thing in the world, the way they stand. With yeah, their, like, arms really cocked back. Fucked up God, they're scary. And then they just fucking trash you! God damn! Yeah. They're gonna rip my fucking head off! Apparently they're called gurus. Oh! Oh! Oh, oh save me! No! No! fucking idiot! I got locked in! No! So anyway, ah. continuing the story I was telling, ah. we're all sitting there in the car, uh. and then for whatever reason- look at, look at that shit! For whatever reason, I just really wanted uh. to listen to the Butt Chugger song, right? The Butt Chugger song. Which is a song that Jesse made as like a joke with him and his friend Cody LaRue, mm -hmm. and it's a song about how Cody LaRue is the Butt Chugger, and it tells this like, this epic tale of this, it's like a coming of age story, basically, where it's like the main character. God is, damn it! Like the singer is like a. Fuck my ass! He's like a lonely kid who's like, you know, nobody likes him and he gets picked on, but then he meets this butt chugger who teaches him how to chug milk through his butt. What the fuck? And, it, and, it, and he becomes like enlightened. And then they get all the kids to start uh -huh. butt chugging, and it's like this epic thing, but then they get shut down by like the adults and parents. They don't like the butt chugger and they make them all stop. And then he has to go to like therapy and stuff and he's uh, made to forget all the stuff about the butt chugger and he becomes depressed again and just becomes like a normal adult but then one day he remembers the butt chugger and it like it you know reaffirms his life and everything and then he has a moment of realization he looks in the mirror and realizes he is the butt chugger and of course it's this beautiful story right and now i can put myself into the shoes of when i first heard this song because it's an older thing that he did I remember listening to like a minute of it and being like, well, I don't know what the fuck this is. This is stupid and not yes. listening to it. But then what, what inspired me to finally listen to it was that uh, Nate and Ben, that was how they got into Jesse was through that song. Uh -huh. They thought it was the funniest shit ever. They thought it was this epic, awesome story. <laughs> they wanted to know everything about Cody LaRue and why he was the butt chugger and stuff. <laughs> they just thought it was the greatest thing ever. So then I listened to it and I was like, all right, yeah, now I get it, you know. So then we're listening to it in the car and I was just like, I was like, yeah, and everyone else is like, this is the worst song ever. Yes. They're all like, I hate this, make it stop, make me die. So Brandon you was, need context for why it exists. Brandon was saying that it's basic, like, he he just thought, this is basically Tom Green. He was uh, like, this is just my yeah. bum is on your lips, but it, uh, and the song's seven minutes long. God. And it has this, like, hilarious, like, <laughs> random beat that he obviously just ripped from YouTube, you know? Can I make this chill? Um, no. But, like... I was like, you know, if they would just give it a chance and listen to the whole song, you eventually realize that it's, like, really clever. You know, it yeah. starts off being dumb and about butt chugging, but when you listen to the whole thing, it's this really ingenious song. But, you know, they were just like, uh, it's dumb, it's gay, and then didn't pay attention to it yes. and didn't get the message, you know, because it's not immediately gratifying. Which is the problem with all of Jesse's content, is that none of it's immediately gratifying, yeah. and that's what the internet lives for. They, if On the internet, if you want people to, to, like, watch your shit, oh they have fuck. to immediately think you're a genius or immediately yes. think you're funny. Where a lot of Jesse's videos Look, start off portraying Jesse. him as an idiot, and then they get, you know, intelligent later. Conrad, Jesse yeah. is the Dark Souls of YouTube. Pretty much. He's, he's the demon he's Souls of He's not instantly gratifying and people don't get the appeal. And but, then when you get into Dark it, you realize it's the best thing ever. eventually developed a huge... Just run past these guys. You'll never survive this room. I've never done it. I've never survived the room. I've but never made cool. it all the way I back. I want to get third. I'm taking my... I want to fight all the dudes, man. Easy, so. This is... This, I don't think I did this the first time. I, I've never been able to, like, kill them all. I always get fucking wasted in this room. Because they have too many fucking... It's fucking fire rad. Fires. They're like fucking sun men. Yeah. So anyway, yeah, it was just like that moment of realization of like how weird it is that like I like his stuff so much and all of it's like I, I want to talk about it and like, you know, make it I want everyone to appreciate this stuff. But yeah. then people hear it and they're just like, yeah, whatever. And I'm like, no, but the butt chugger song, like how cool would it be if everyone I knew loved the butt chugger song and, <laughs> and all of them were fans of it, you know? But like because Jesse is so underground, like there's no one I could talk about that stuff with except for him and our friends, you know? Yeah. Like we like all of the fans of like the Jesse Wood fan club is just 
his our, our, our group of friends. That's what it was, the original name of it was the Horseshoe Crew. Yes. Because he was the Horseshoe King. Like we joined, we made a chat based on all of us being fans of Jesse and hanging out with him. You know, and it's like, who can I, who can I share this? This amazing work with who will understand the butt chugger if no one will listen to the whole song, you know? <laughs> like Trevor's uh coming up like today, I think. Trevor's yeah, it's coming back to be this uh, morning, so I'm supposed to go get him. Trevor's coming back up here. I think he's he might maybe he's at Donson's house already. I have no, no idea. They gotta go get him at five AM or some shit. Tomorrow? Yes. Okay. But yeah, like um uh, like I Trevor was guys. Trevor was talking about drinking. Don't go that way, go the other way. Looks like Kellogg's keep, keep back going there. Back. Yeah, you can pick up her, uh, her fucking shit. It's I think it's the sister. I don't think it's I see. Uh, Quillog herself. It's uh, yeah. Yeah, this is what I've never gotten before because I've never. Oh! oh! <laughs> Not very clean. Looks like the uh, that's probably the what's it called? The just or I guess one of the random straight ones who's around. Um. For anyway, yeah, like. Uh, Trevor's coming back, and he was talking about uh, drinking with Donson, and Donson was saying how you know he already had his drinking night with yeah. uh, Marcus, and he was like, "I tell you what, I'll drink with you, but only if you have to listen to the entire Butt Sugar song." Like, nice. like it's like a punishment <laughs> that he's invoking on him, and I'm like, I like the Butt Sugar song. It's a good song, you know. Jesus, you tuned out after a minute and thought it was retarded, but it's, a, it's a good it, song. How do I get over there? Should I go down there? Uh, you can. There's a ton of rats, There's but a you big can. Old rat. Falling damage, that guy. Let's see if I can find a logical way. Yeah, you just gotta go through the other door that was at yeah. the start of this room. This place is cool, man. There's all kinds of dead guys. It's the demon ruins. It's literally yeah. the place from uh, Dark Souls. Yeah. But, uh, different. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, so then I've had butt sugar stuck in my... And all night, all I could think was fucking butt sugar. I was just Cody LaRue's the butt sugar. It's gonna make you his butt chug brother. And Jesus. I was like, all I wanted was everyone to join in song with me and sing Cody the butt LaRue. chugger song. But uh, that name is the best part of the song. It's a real. It's his real friend, Cody Larue. Yes. Who is actually a really hilarious, excellent, like awesome guy. He has a Twitter that's fucking hilarious, and he's been making like a uh, like um like sitcom videos or uh -huh. something. Like, he's like a filmmaker guy, kind of like you. And, wow. Uh, so he's a rival. Uh, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. I haven't actually watched his videos, but I follow his Twitter, and it's pretty fucking funny. Uh-huh. Um, so yeah, the butt chugger is, a is a real guy out there. Real, real content creator on the internet. Fucking butt chuggers. With, uh, no audience. Whoa, illusory wall! I don't wall. think I knew about that. I don't think I knew about that. It's just on the other but side I of this gap. I found shit. And there it is. But wait, I, I, I know I've there got- she Yeah, is. I've gotten there through that. Yeah. I did not know there was an illusory wall there. Cool. Pyromancy yeah, tomb. It's like the highest level- uh, this or it's chaos pyromancy. You can Fucking only give that to the, the the pyromancy chick who you save from the cell in the uh, yeah. what's it called? Ooh, lava! Oh, oh yeah. fuck! You could f there's uh, a this is like um there's like a bridge that you're supposed to like fall off of that bridge and you the bridge to lava. Yeah. But you can I, like, I wouldn't do this without any flasks. You will die. You will die. Oh, that's fast. Yeah, you will die. God Don't damn, son! I've gotten all the items in there by what's having enough flasks to survive. Good? Uh, nothing like interesting that I know of. I don't cool. know. I actually don't remember. I don't usually pay attention to what I pick up. <laughs> like, Fuck, it's I a hell end up having it all. Um, there should be another bonfire around here. I'm um, having a gay old time in here. Dude, it's so much easier to navigate this place, like, going in from the front entrance. Like, yeah. the other way is so impossibly confusing. It took me forever to find my way out. Donaldson was just making fun of me the whole time. I mean, I had a hard time navigating it, too, even oh God, coming in naturally, but, uh... Oh, there's like a bunch of uh, basilisks down there, I think. The basilisks. Those are the ones that curse you. Yeah. Cursey uh, buddies. But if you run right called. past them, you're close to the ladder that you'll get up to go to the place. So just run past all these basilisks. What? Do not. <laughs> I was like not close enough to hit him. Now I'm gonna die of curse. Just run fucking haul ass. I wanna get that. that. That's how you get fucking trapped. Is by yes. grabbing that. <laughs> it's a titanite slab, dude. It was not a slab. It was oh, a scale. Oh yeah, no scale. Never mind. Those are later. Um, there are two though. Anyway, yeah, I don't know if what I've been talking about is interesting at all with this Jesse Wood thing. I just think it's it's really weird to me when I'm, like, making references to him constantly and everyone's just kind of yes. looking at me like I'm insane. Oh, that's uh, like a black That's a night, really hard it? black night. Oh! And if you fall off this bridge, you end up in that lava that you were in before. Oh shit. This so. is badass. That's fucking badass. That there is a lava bridge. 
I'm so sad I didn't you find this You can run past this guy and uh, climb that That's ladder. fucking cool, yeah. Wait, so you've class. never shut down the big arrow thing No, before? I haven't. Oh. Is, look, how fucking cool is it that you, you arrive at this fucking bridge, you see that there's this badass over there, and then you see that you're over lava. Yeah. Fucking rad. What's that? I don't know. Not sure if I think what. it's a soul, so I wouldn't go for it. Just go right up the ladder. Ho! Oh! Woo! Please don't You're run probably gonna fast. get killed anyways because yeah, there's gonna no get bonfire me. up there. He's gonna get me. Well, he's gonna get me. There's uh. a bunch of enemies up here, so oh, you'll probably still you didn't get killed. tell me that. I thought I was home free. No. Okay, I don't have a lot of souls. I was expecting you to find the bon the other bonfire, but you never did somehow. You just like passed it. Uh -huh. The other demon ruins one. I, I didn't mean. know there was like, another it's, one. It, you're not close to looks, it. There so. looks like a crack right there. What oh, if there's something in that up. crack? That ass crack. But yeah, you're close to the arrow mechanism, but you'll have to run past a bunch of enemies and it shoot, still shooting at you. So. Try. Yes, just smack the walls. Yeah, man. Could uh, be illusion. I guess that's all I had to say about the Jesse Wood thing, since you have nothing to contribute, apparently. Oh, to what that the fuck idea. do I need to contribute? Whoa, I don't know if I've gotten that. Huh. How do I get that? I uh, guess you just right fall here. from there. I Swag. don't know if I've got that before. Blah. Oh, Whoa, Dragon, Dragon Rider, Rider bow, bitch. Some Dark Souls 2 shit. Well, that's like what those arrows that they're shooting at you from the thing are. Aren't they? Oh! Dragon Rider arrows. Very clean. Next time on Digibros. Yeah. Maybe. Squee?